Um, speaking of good news for Elon's companies <laughs> or surprising results for Elon's companies, can I share with you guys something that I just read this morning that shocked me? It. Okay, here we go. So this honestly was like, this was one of those like kind of jaw dropping. It's It might sound minimal to some people, but to, to me, a, a space nerd, I was shocked. So it sounds like, remember how it was like, oh, they're probably not going to reuse, you know, they'll never fly a reuse booster for SpaceX Dragon mission or, you know, for crew people like they NASA didn't want to reuse, use reuse boosters. They wanted brand new boosters. Mm -hmm. And it was also sounding unlikely that we'd ever see a, a capsule reuse too. that they'd only maybe repurpose the crew capsules for cargo in the future. That sounds like both of those are already changed. And it's according to Jeff Faust on Twitter, uh, panel member Don McEarlean from the NASA Administration Space Advisory Panel meeting basically said um, the landing of the Demo 2 mission will be a challenge because of limited wind margins on this capsule. Um, have seven landing sites to choose from off the east and west coast of Florida, up from three. So they're really watching weather. So that was, I was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But then all of a sudden, Mc, Mc, uh, McEarlean says, NASA plans to call, NASA plans call for reusing the Falcon 9 booster from Crew 1 mission, which is this upcoming one in September, on the Crew 2 mission, and to reuse the Dragon 2 capsule from Crew 2 as well. So... All of a sudden, we're going from the first two missions requiring new boosters and new and new capsules to all of a sudden already before the mission's even over, they're looking at reusing the booster and reusing the capsule. Holy cow. They must have a lot of confidence that uh, they should have a lot of confidence in the booster. We have plenty of data on SpaceX reusing boosters and what that, you know, what that actually looks like for reliability and all that stuff. But the capsule, the capsule's not even back yet. Um, I'm I'm honestly quite shocked that they have come to some kind of conclusion about it already, that it's uh, going to be good to to reuse it in the future. But that's yeah. awesome. I still have my concerns about those, um, the, the, the Super Draco thrusters on the side when it's coming in with the heat shield and the, the heat, like all that heat, it feels like there's like a scoop there that it can mm. get up into. It's, it's behind the, the wind stream, you know, cause there's yeah. the, the rake angle of the walls. And don't forget when, when the capsule's reentering the, especially at hypersonic speed. So the, the one is like the craziest and the hottest, the, uh, the wind stream doesn't end up doing kind of like what we're used to, you know, it doesn't do like a car. It's going so fast. The, the literally like shoots out at an angle. The, yeah. with that giant was called bow shock so there's literally nothing that would even attach to those walls because the 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 blunt body of the capsule the big flat um portion that's the heat shield makes it so all that crazy hot plasma and all the actual wind stream is like surprisingly far away from everything so it doesn't even have a place mm. to attach so literally in those pockets are like nothing it's like a vacuum still which is kind of yeah, weird yeah i'm just there, there's only one crew dragon that's gone up and come back and it wound up kind of exploding later well that was unrelated but yeah unrelated but i'm just surprised no i mean with as careful as nasa right. always is i'm really surprised that they're just jumping in with yeah. That. yeah 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 I, I i know what you mean it is actually kind of surprising yeah and that's why yeah that's why i said it was like i was shocked when i read that because it doesn't seem to align with <laughs> yeah the way they've been the booster carefully. sounds like it makes sense, right? Because we've never had issues with the booster as far as no. I know. But well, we've done that a million times. Yeah. And if anything, it almost seems like a reflown booster is in some ways almost becoming like more reliable or like it's starting to yeah. lean that way that like, oh, it's flight proven now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We tested it and we're going to use it again. Yeah. Now that we know. <laughs> now yeah. we know all the stuff works. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it definitely, it literally does. I mean, all the only failures they've ever had are from new rockets, um, except for as far as we want to consider it a failure, there was an engine that went out uh, uh, earlier this year on ascent on a reused booster, but it really had nothing to do with the fact that it was a reused booster. It was a problem. I mean, it was kind of related, but it was, you know, they're trying to clean out the engine. They use like um, alcohol or ethanol or something to, to clean out the channels of the engine in between flights. And in that, and they would even do that on a new booster though. After they test fired, they'd still clean it out, you know? Mm -hmm. So even on a brand new booster that could have had the potential. And what happened is a little bit of alcohol, I think was like lodged in a, in a leg of a line or something. There's these dead legs where they would put a sensor sometimes, like it'll have a little tee off basically and a sensor might plug onto there for testing and stuff. 
apparently there's just a little slug of like alcohol in there. And when you shoot that with cryogenic oxygen, it just became a thing and, and detonated that engine or, or forced a mm. shutdown of that engine. Mm. So it was something that like, yes, it was a reused booster. Yes, it may have been because they had to clean it, but it really wasn't like the fault of the fact that it was a reflown booster. This could have happened at any time and it's just a learning opportunity. And that mission, by the way, was not a failure. The landing of the booster was failure on that mission, but the, the mission itself still successful. Like if there were astronauts on board, they would have been, yeah. they would have been perfectly fine. They would have still got to orbit. No big deal. They wouldn't even known. Probably they would have no idea that an engine shut down. And that's the beauty of redundant engines for sure. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks everybody.